and it should just start up. Okay, I've got the hydrogen carburetor bolted onto this two-stroke uh, two-stroke engine is a 60cc two-stroke engine. You'll see them all the time on bicycle engine conversion kits. It's basically just one of them engines bolted onto a bike. I've put the hydrogen carburetor on. I've made it fit. I bought one of those 45, 90, uh, 45 degree uh, brackets for holding the carburetor on. I've just retrofitted it onto this four-stroke carburetor, but the engine runs absolutely fine. It's going to require about uh, two to, to four psi for it to rev up. Um, I'm basically just going to connect the gas tank straight up to the, uh, the port at the bottom and then we'll fire it up. It's got no oil in the crankcase uh, and there's no oil lubrication system going through the fuel obviously because it's hydrogen so the engine's not going to last very long. In fact it'll burn itself out very quickly so I'm just going to fire it up, have a good listen to what the engine sounds like because I think it sounds pretty cool running on hydrogen. Uh, it's really crisp uh, exhaust note and obviously there's no smoke and fumes. Um, it's also really easy to start on hydrogen, it's just one pull, two pulls, especially with this thing, and it fires up straight away even when cold. Uh, awesome, let's give it a go. So I'm just going to turn on the gas bottle now. As you can see, pressure's gone up to 150 bar. It was 175, but I've been using it for other tests. And then we're going to set the pressure to 3 psi just for starting this engine up. There we go. Awesome. Let's fire up the two-stroke. Awesome. So we're all good to go. We've got the hydrogen gas bottle over there. It's connected to the two-stroke. I've set the regulator to output three psi of hydrogen gas. Uh, this has no oil, um, so it should be pretty easy to start as well being on hydrogen. Let's give it a go. Just setting this to three psi. Now I'm going to prime at the the carburetor, the hydrogen carburetor, and it should just start up. Now that was pretty awesome. Uh, a lot of backfiring going on out the carburetor. It's obviously not got a good good seal around the, uh, the piston rings and the combustion chamber with all the hydrogen mixed into the crankcase there. Um, but it always backfired when I deaccelerated and when the RPMs picked up then that's because I set the hydrogen gas to 6 psi. But that's that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. So that's running the exact same carburetor as the four stroke ones, as I mentioned earlier. So now I've just put some oil, uh, four stroke uh, engine oil into the crankcase just to see what would happen. Um, obviously there's nothing major scientific going on here. Uh, I just thought I might add a little bit of extra lubrication to the piston, but more importantly it's uh, reducing the backfire. Uh, from when the explosion is going off in the combustion chamber, I believe we're getting a, bit of, a little bit of bleed through, um, through the past the piston ring, especially when the engine's cold. So I just put a bit of uh, oil in there, and, and I think that's actually helping reduce those backfires only a little bit. Um, obviously, two stroke hydrogen, they don't really go well together, but um, it's nice to see it running. It's nice to see the engine running on, 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 on hydrogen gas. Um, so I've just put some oil in now, I'm just going to show you it running, switch it off again, I'm not going to run this long, I don't want to kill the engine, um, and then we'll jump back on the four stroke stuff in other videos, uh, but this is what the engine sounds like running with a little bit of oil in the crankcase, um, obviously it sort of defeats the point with hydrogen being no emissions, no carbon emissions, and now I'm chucking oil into the combustion chamber and burning that, so defeats the point, but uh, some of you I know might be interested. So, uh, I'll show you what it sounds like.
Oh, well, there you have it. There's a two-stroke hydrogen combustion engine. Uh, let me know if you want to see more of a hydrogen two-stroke. Uh, I think it'd be quite cool designing a new way of uh, operating a two-stroke engine, especially on hydrogen. You try and have a wet, wet crankcase going on. Um, I'm pretty sure it's doable. I'm sure someone out there could do it. I'm pretty sure I could do it, but you'd have to let me know in the comments if you'd like to see more of this sort of thing. Um, but I think I'll stick with the four strokes uh, just because it seems to run better on hydrogen, especially when it comes to backfiring. Uh, but yeah, let me know if you'd like to see more two strokes in the future. Uh, and thanks for watching.